Number 56, Integrated Concepts. An aircraft maintenance technician walks past a tall hangar door that acts like a single slit for sound entering the hangar. Outside the door, a line perpendicular to the opening in the door, a jet engine makes a 600 hertz sound. At what angle with the door will the technician observe the first minimum in sound intensity if the vertical opening is 0.8 meters wide and the speed of sound is 340 meters per second? All right, so there's a... There's a... There's a plane out here, right? There's a plane. Looks more like, well, looks more like a face, right? Well, no, it looks like a happy plane. So uh, the plane is has a frequency of 600 hertz, right? It also tells us that the velocity of sound here, so we'll say that the velocity is 340 meters per second. And uh, it's making, you know, it's sending out pulse waves, basically. And what they want us to do is, you know, when these waves now enter this single slit, they diffract. And they're asking us at what angle relative to this perpendicular to the slit opening is there a first minimum? Okay, so if the technician were standing right here, we want to try to, or we want to try to position the technician, I guess, so that he experiences or she experiences a minimum of sound. Okay, so knowing that this is a single slit and we're talking about minimums, we're using this formula over here on the right hand side. It's going to be that the distance between the single slit multiplied by the sine of the angle is going to be equal to the order uh, of the minimum you're talking about multiplied then by the wavelength. So in order to find the angle, we got to divide, divide then the distance between the slit and then we have to take the inverse sine of both sides, right? Because I need to find just theta and not sine of theta. So when I take the inverse sine also of the left hand side, I don't really write it out because it just literally cancels the sine. So now in order to answer this question, we realize that we need to know three things. The order, well, they told us the first minimum, so it's one. The wavelength, do we know the wavelength? No, they didn't tell us it directly, but they gave us the velocity and the frequency. So how do we find wavelength when we know those two? It's a formula, a blast from the past, from chapter, I think, 25. So velocity of a wave will be equal to its wavelength multiplied by its frequency. So to find the to find the wavelength, just simply divide out the frequency, and there is now the wavelength formula. So what we're going to do is take that velocity of 340 meters per second. Those are the standard units. The frequency is in hertz, or aka cycles per second. So these are all standard units, so you can basically just plug that on in. 340 over 600, 340 over 600, nope, I did 340 over 60, but that really won't make that much of a difference because the decimal is just going to move. But we realize that the wavelength here is going to be about 0.5 repeating times 10 to the minus 1. Okay, actually, well, what, what, no, 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 <laughs> it's just 0.5 repeating. If I did 5 times 10 to the minus 1, yeah, that, okay, anyway, it's a little early. So that's the wavelength in meters. So now I do know the wavelength. <clears throat> and do we know the slit opening? Well, it says, yeah, vertical opening of 0.8 meters, right? So <coughs> let's do it. So sine then, inverse sine of now uh, 1, multiplied by the wavelength of 0.5 repeating, divided then by the distance there. Everything is in meters, so we're good. So we just go and plug and chug. So inverse sine of 0.5, well, I'm just going to take that answer. So inverse sine of that value divided by... 0.8, so it works out to be about 45.1, so 45.1 degrees, all right, relative to that horizontal is where there should be a minimum then of sound intensity, so this angle here is about 45.1, so if the technician is inside of this hangar, he knows all these dimensions, and he's figuring out, you know, where should I go, it's too loud, he should go right there, or she should go right there. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you can, help us out by subscribing. We really appreciate it, liking and maybe even telling some of your classmates. All right, we got a whole bunch of other subjects out there. So if you know anyone taking chemistry or pre-calculus, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of other stuff coming out uh, relatively soon, organic chemistry and biochemistry and all that stuff, uh, send them our way. We really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, thank you.